What's up guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you six fast and easy AdWords campaign optimization tactics that you can implement immediately to any AdWords campaign and turn it around. So let's dig right in. Okay guys, so you should be logged into your AdWords account and see the home page here. Go into the campaign that we're going to optimize. You should see overview. You got your home page here. And the first optimization tactic, number one, that we're going to do is device bids. So before we get to that, come up to your date. Do last 30 days. You always want to get the most recent. Or 7 or 14 or whatever you have, but you want to... I recommend 30, so try and go with 30 if you can. So the first one we're going to do is device bids. Come down here to devices. Now we're going to look at, you can see I already have some adjustments going on. We're going to look at the last 30 days of data and see what that tells us. And you can see your computer desktop traffic, click through rate 6.7%, four leads, 20% conversion rate. So we're going to jack that up a little bit. Always adjust small, go 5%, incrementally adjust. That's doing well for us, so we're gonna anything that converts over 25%, you want to increase. Um, we're not running mobile traffic because our page we're running to is just not that mobile friendly. So we're gonna skip over that tablet. Obviously, there's not enough data here. One one impression, one click, one conversion, which is awesome, 100 percent conversion rate. So we're gonna bid that up five percent as well. Now let's say this had you know 500 impressions and one click or you know 500 impressions five clicks one lead something like that or it's it's converting horribly and our cost per lead is like four hundred dollars two hundred dollars something ridiculous and the conversion rates really poor then we're gonna come here instead of increase we're gonna decrease and like I said always do five percent increments and just start from there and work your way down every every week when you do it so that's tactic number one after we have that adjusted we are gonna go up to keyword bids and we're going to do this at the campaign level. Let's see here. We're going to go modifier columns, clicks, impressions, CTR. It's adding conversions. Conversion rate. Hit apply. If I can get it to work, there we go. Okay. Now let's sort by clicks. See here, we only had 15 clicks the last 30 days. These are really, really high intent keywords are going after with low impressions. So that's why we just don't have that much right now. And you can see here, sort by conversions. There we go. So these are, this is a sweet spot right here $30 conversions, bidding $39 currently. So we're going to bump that. Usually the rule of thumb for this when optimizing keyword bids, I go $1.50. But for this, let's just do a dollar right now. I mean, you're going to be doing this every week, so it's, it's best to be conservative with it than just to go crazy and upbid $5 and then you, know, you, you might get crushed. It's a marathon, not a sprint, guys. Okay, and then here, this this one's getting us break click through rate, but it's we're getting crushed. It's a hundred dollar lead, so we're gonna take that down a notch. We're gonna take that down two dollars. See how that does. This is good. This is good. I wouldn't touch that. I mean, as you can see, we're all our clicks are converting. Pretty much. Let's scroll down to not converting. Here we go, three clicks, no leads. Might leave the Google AdWords. So we're gonna downbid that. Let's take that down. Let's take that down to uh, 31. We'll keep an eye on it and see how that does in the next week if it's still 
producing no leads next week and we got the same three clicks, I would drop it even further. And then if it doesn't do anything the next week, I would just pause it. If it's not going to convert after 10 clicks, it's in my, this is my opinion. It's how we do it. It's, it's a loser pretty much. And then we're just going to pause it. Obviously you can't make a decision based off one click. So that's it for keyword bids for this campaign. So you got to go off the data you have. Let's go back over to our overview. Now we're going to go into our search terms. Search terms are the actual terms typed in a Google search engine and your, that your ad shows for. So basically if we're, if we're bidding on the keyword white label PPC, exact match, post variant, PPC white label, that's what the raw search term was and our ad showed for. So let's do our columns again. Apply. Okay. Goodbye conversions. Okay, so this one right here has a web software in it. So we're going to take that. We don't want anything to do with software. We're going to negative that, so we're going to go under our negative keywords. I'm pretty sure I already have it added here, but we'll do it just in case. And you want to do it at the campaign level. Software. Save. Go back into search terms. And now we got that. So we won't show any keywords at the word software in because we're not a software, we're a service. So don't want that. Okay, so that looks like everything else that converted. Looks like we already added it. Oop, didn't add this guy. Review though, we don't want that. So we're gonna take review. You know what? That's something we could probably put in our another ad group. It's kind of vague though, so for, for this video, I'm just gonna get rid of it. So it's something I would probably put in its own ad group and then bid really low. We don't want to do that right now. So I'm just going to cut it loose. Back to search terms. Okay, so we had two negatives out of our raw search data, and we added keywords that weren't previously targeting based on this data too. So that's going to bring in more leads and add to the ad groups that we already put them in. Now let's see what else they gave us. Anything we don't want in here. That looks pretty good. Okay, so this is what you're going to do every time you do an optimization. You're going to come into your search terms. You're going to go through the keywords here. You're going to add the stuff that you that converted for you that you're not currently targeting. And you're going to negative out the stuff that you might have got caught up in here, like review stuff, software. Even if it's not a lead for us, it's just not worth it. It's usually people just look you lose, so we want to get rid of it. So that's basically how we're going to do the keywords. Now let's move on to the ad copy. All right, so let's sort by clicks. You see here we got our white label ads. Great click through rates. Let's see conversion rates. So we're gonna have to go back up and modify our columns again. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but If you want to be smart about it, you can just do it once and save it. Say uh, version, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So five clicks, three leads. Oh, eighteen percent click through rate. This ad is just total fire. That's awesome. Three clicks, no leads. Two clicks, two leads, that's great. Two clicks, no leads. Hmm. So you can see the only thing we really are switching up here is the actual description copy. Because we've already done we've already been testing this and the headline and headline two. Um, it just works. It works really well as you can see through click through rates. 
So we're going to leave that for now. The ad that has three and nothing, I would just say, I mean, it only has 12 impressions. It's got a great click-through rate, so I would just leave it. Now, if this had 30, 30 clicks and, you know, 1,000 impressions or whatever, and zero leads, you gotta, it's got to get cut. Anything that has a CTR of under 1.5 it is a loser. you got to get rid of it. I mean, me personally, I think it's 2.5. you got to get rid of it. I mean, here, here's one here, though. Two has a 1.94. So it's just above the bare minimum, but I'm just going to keep it for now because it's only two clicks. If it's still like that after 10, 12, maybe 15, then we'll cut it loose. So you're basically going to do this through, you can even do it at the ad group level, it might be easier. Come in, sort by clicks, your highest amount of clicks, go into your ad group, then go into your ads. Now you see we run three ads per, per ad group, and then you can do that in here. So I just don't have enough data yet to make a decision based off of this. It's just nothing. I mean, I need you need hundreds of impressions. I, I, I honestly hundreds of clicks is the best way to do it. But like I said, this campaign is extremely tightened down. It's only exact in phrase match because we're, we're lo looking for a very specific type of audience, which is why you have a converge rate of sixty percent. It's it's ridiculous. We know exactly who we're going after. And the next one we're gonna do optimization tactic number six is add schedule bids. So let's go back out to our main campaign. Let's go over to add schedule. Now we can see what days of the week we're converting the highest. Oh, damn it, what you're not gonna see here though is that we've just added a new schedule on this so it totally erased all the data we had for the last 30 days because I made another tutorial showing how to set up an ad schedule and I just got rid of everything. <laughs> but obviously we're going to come in here if we had the data and we'd see you know what days had the highest conversion cost I'm sorry conversion rates and then we'd say alright plus five plus five plus five and if, if we had one day where we got like ten clicks and no leads or something like that we just we'd come in here and just do decrease five percent and save that. So hopefully in the next video I have for this stuff, I can have some data in here. It's, it's tough to do it with only 15 clicks. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any other optimization tactics that you'd like to share, drop them in there. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like and share this video. And we dropped some cool links in the description below the video, so make sure you check those out. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video or in the, in the uh, Facebook group. Alright guys.